Dr. Bob Nelson is recognized around the world as one of the leading authorities on energizing, motivating, and inspiring employees to new peaks of performance. Over the past 20 years, Dr. Nelson has delivered thousands of speeches and has worked with a wide variety of clients, including most Fortune 500 firms. He has appeared extensively in the media, including CNN, MSNBC, PBS, and NPR, and has been featured in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, Business Week, Fortune and Inc. magazines, and numerous other publications to discuss how to best motivate today's employees. The high use recognition managers all look for opportunities to recognize employees when they do good work, and they do so on a daily basis. Not after when everything else is done, not at the end of the week, not at the end of the month, not when they happen to feel like it or when they're in a good mood, but on a daily basis. They've internalized the importance of this activity and they act on it here and now. To wait is to lose the opportunity. Someone does a great job, you don't say anything, you don't do anything. A week goes by, two weeks, it's too late to do anything. In fact, sometimes to do it at that point, it almost shows that you're disconnected with an employee. Some 85% of employees say they'd never get recognition today for doing a good job. And as we're changing more, as we're asking people to do more, most employees feel overworked and underappreciated. It doesn't have to be that way. And one of the delights on this topic is the fact that the best motivators today cost little or nothing. Little or nothing are things that recognition is around you all the time. It's just there for you to reach out and grab. Now, a lot of times the focus on recognition is money. Well, money's a motivator. It's just not the only motivator. I'd suggest it's not even the top motivator. You might come to work for money, but I find that people always leave for recognition. Both thoughtful and thought-provoking, Bob intertwines examples, stories, research, and group activities to make his points and engage audiences of all types and sizes. Dr. Nelson has sold almost three million books on management and motivation, including the blockbuster 1001 Ways to Reward Employees, 1001 Ways to Energize Employees, 1001 Ways to Take Initiative at Work, and the Management Bible. Talking more with this guy, turns out he was an executive from a company in San Antonio. At one point I asked him, how many people work in your organization? He didn't even blink. He goes, about half. <laughs> Isn't that the case? We've got some people that you know, are pumped up and excited. Other people are dragging in. You've got to justify the work. Yeah, we can't afford to have that happen anymore. We've got to find ways to get everyone in the game. Truly excited about doing the mission. And you guys have a wonderful mission, an incredible mission. And to truly live that and be a part of the team to make that happen every single day. You know, Harold Poling former chairman and CEO of Ford Motor Company once said one of the stepping stones to a world-class operation is to tap into the intellectual power of each and every employee. We've got to get everyone excited on an ongoing basis. And I'm convinced every employee wants to be a part of that vision. They want to be excited. They want to have a pride of association and to be a part of something larger than themselves. It's making a difference, a true difference in other people's lives. No one gets up in the morning and says, I think I'll really mess up at work today. I think I'll make my manager's job a living hell. That'll be fun. Now, granted, I haven't met all your employees, <laughs> but I truly believe people want to be magnificent. And if given a chance, more times than not, they will be. Bill Hewitt, co-founder of Hewitt Packard, he put it this way. He said, men and women want to do a good job, a creative job, and if they're provided the proper environment, they will do so. This simple observation, to me, represents a drastic shift in what it takes to get the best out of people today. Because for the longest time, management was about what? Telling people what to do. My way or the highway. Taking work, dividing it into its smallest components, assigning it to individuals and holding them strictly accountable that they do exactly what you told them to do. All that's out the door now. You can't command performance from anyone. They can only command it from themselves. What you can do, though, as a manager, is you can set the environment that meets them at their energy, that makes them want to go above and beyond and want to do that on a daily basis. 
Bob's natural energy and charisma on the speaking platform is sure to capture any audience's attention as he reveals the secrets for taking the brakes off your organization and unleashing the potential within every employee. Your audience is guaranteed to leave Bob's session with ideas and techniques they can put into practice and the motivation to want to do so immediately.